morning, Singapore. Welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. It is a Tuesday and that's why we have this pretty face with us. <laughs> Dr. Geraldine Tan, award-winning psychologist from The Therapy Room. Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. I'm testing my voice here. My voice is disappearing for some reason. I like your voice <laughs> like this, like Rod Stewart. It's nice. Rod Stewart. <laughs> Couldn't you have said Kim Khan? I mean Kim Khan, yes. <laughs> Nice and husky. Dave is eyes. <laughs> uh, as opposed to, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I'm not having performance anxiety right now. We are talking about performance anxiety this morning, aren't we? Yes, we are. We are. Um, yeah, so performance anxiety is a fear to do specific things. It can be many different things. I wonder whether you all have like performance anxiety when you first started your career. Absolutely. Okay, what um, is what is hmm. it? I mean, for example, myself, till today, hmm. I still get sweaty palms before I go on stage. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. And to yeah. me, to me, that is a good thing. Same, I get nervous. No, I think that's a Sweaty palms are always really bad. No, you but, should Botox your palms. No, I, I see. T- t- tell me if I'm wrong, Jerry. I see sweaty palms as a type of nervousness, and that nervousness keeps you in control. No, butterflies in your stomach. That's okay. Yeah. Mm. But sweaty palms, no. No, I, I get sweaty. I palms. don't. I don't get sweaty palms. I get. I get anxious, and then my little finger starts to hurt. Oh. Yeah, I oh, get the so pain. In, yeah, I get the pain oh. in my little finger. And sometimes it's really, really painful. But I arith- feel... Arthritis, right? No, it's not. <laughs> At the tip of my finger. <laughs> I feel that feeling anxious before going on stage, even after so many so years, many years yeah. means I yeah. still look forward to it. Right. Yeah. You know, yes. I'm still, I'm yes. still, I'm still uh, excited about but it. But Sweaty Palms, are, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't hire you for award shows. <laughs> <then>. <laughs> Because Why? you'll be shaking people's hands and saying, yeah. No, you like, oh, no, no. Yeah, once, sweaty, no. Sweaty once I go, good evening, yeah. welcome, we're here to have, it's gone. Ah, it's okay. done. There yeah, you go. Lucky you said yeah, that. Yeah, it's yeah. done. But is that yeah, performance yeah. anxiety? Is that a manifestation of performance anxiety? No. Oh. It is one of the symptoms. But mm. when we talk about anxiety, right, we are looking at at than just nervousness, excitement, worry, butterflies. We're talking about more than that. Mm. Um, when people have performance anxiety, you really cannot perform or you find it so difficult to start that particular task. Do you faint? So it, Possible, right? Do you faint? Some people collapse. Is that performance um, anxiety as well? Because I have a, I a, a friend who... Extreme. It's very, okay. very extreme. Not that it's not possible, but um, many, many more often than not, you have a mental shutdown. So it's stage fright. Perform. Stage fright, yeah. Stage fright. You, like you stage freeze. Fright. Mm, 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 ah. mm. Yeah, yeah. Or, or you, your brain just gets stuck. Mm. Mm. The way some people feel the first time mm. they try being a radio DJ. Yes. Mm-hmm. There, there have right. been yeah. cases in the past. Oh, really? You know, where yeah. everything yeah. seems fine, yeah. right? Person speaks well, seems very composed. And then on the first day, they get in the hot seat. They, they look at the hundreds of uh, <laughs> buttons, uh, buttons, buttons and, and the numerous faders and all that. And they can't perform. Mm. They, they, they can't yeah. even think. Okay. The, the kids call it uh, panic at the disco. Panic <laughs> at the disco. Is 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 that a, a a chemical imbalance because that happens because of the fear? Well, all the different emotions causes some chemical change in the brain. Mm. So there is a chemical imbalance, but not in a mad mad sort of way that people tend to like to say, "Oh, you're crazy, therefore you cannot perform." Mm. You know, um, and it happens to the best of us. We are talking about freezing before we even do anything. But sports people actually have that also. So they Mm. can be, you know, um, doing a sport or doing a competition and suddenly they cannot perform because they start to doubt themselves. The, The anxiety kicks in. So, Dr. Jerry, you're saying that there are no different levels of performance anxiety like what FD and I have experienced being somewhat nervous before we get on stage that's not performance anxiety performance anxiety is only when you cannot perform at all we are taking the most extreme we're okay. taking the 
that that extreme. If not, then it's just worry, uh, excitement, nervousness, mm. Mm. yeah, and that is manageable. So we are lo- looking at really that extreme. Got it. Right. Got Some it. people puke as well. Before, yeah, I'm sure they get very nauseous. They, yeah. they feel they feel like puking. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Yes, 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 yes. So there is like um, so all the different performances, right? So in our work presentations, so you have wonderful, wonderful like um, uh, uh like engineers or, or uh, marketing people to do a presentation and, and they perform. Mm, okay. You know, now, um, examinations, okay. the students. Now you're sounding like a robot. Okay, <laughs> let's uh, let's play your song right now, and then uh, we'll fix this on the Big Show TV. Here's New Order with Regret on One FM ninety one. Uh, we have a, a comment on our Facebook page from Molly. Molly says, yeah. "I don't perform, but when I have to get up and speak, or do a sharing in front of people, yes, uh, I feel sharp." pains like arrows hitting all over my body oh, wow dear. what's that mm. this angel just feels the pain in the finger yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is anxiety it is anxiety it manifests in the body it can occur to anyone um some pains are more manageable than other pains or uh, some shutdowns the brain shutting down is uh, more manageable at for some people and you know sometimes there is a total shutdown they cannot perform at all hmm. so how does one manage performance anxiety is it something that you can overcome it depends on what it is so there's the performing arts and all the presentations standing up in front of people talking um you know talking in front of a crowd or talking to someone there is the sports there's the examinations oh many students come to us because they have performance anxiety um during the examination period and this other one is very interesting um performance anxiety in bed so yep. sexual yeah. anxiety yeah so where it manifests then if it, it's different management styles so so you're saying so so this is uh, if you have performance anxiety and you're unable to say sit for an exam hmm. uh will the education system let you go on that one <laughs> or allow no. you to retake it no. because i mean yes. you can't function but no. if i've seen a psychologist and i have a track record yeah. of performance anxiety surely they've got to help me is there any way around mm. that no, because it's very, very hard to, to prove mm. or malingering. Uh. So they they find it very difficult to give um, concession on that one. Right. But okay. there have been cases where um, there is high anxiety in terms of talking face to face with someone. So for that one, we can arrange for the, the examiners to or for, for the students to see the examiners one-on-one in a quieter mm. room. Yeah, so that one is permissible. So what actually causes performance anxiety? <laughs> so you mentioned about the fight, flight, freeze. Mm. The brain goes into this um, state of panic where crisis, it reads the situation as crisis. It reads the situation as threatening even going up to order a kopi, sometimes it's very, very scary for the person. So it becomes a crisis situation for the person. So what happens is they, they um, might not even be able to perform. At times, even just thinking about it just brings on like sweaty palms. It brings on like that palpitation. They feel really scared just even thinking about it. And that prevents them from doing anything else. Hmm. You know, Jerry, when I used to teach people to speak, Mm. um, we had a lot of people who had stage fright. And what we used to get them to do is, before you make a presentation, sit down quietly in your room and Mm. literally close your eyes and envisage the entire presentation happening. 
see yeah. it from beginning to end visualize and yep. see see the good points and the bad points what can what will happen what can go wrong uh, so that you can you, you'll be prepared to solve those problems but you envisage the whole thing and we found that that yeah. actually helped a lot of people because it's almost like a rehearsal in your mind mm. so you're no longer yeah. worried about oh my god what's going to happen yeah the unknown you've seen it happen mm. you've seen it happen is that a way to i mean it worked for some of our students not all but some yes yes so um the sports psychologists tend to use that also uh, it is visualization, so there mm. is a name for it. So you visualize the entire thing. Um, so, for example, if you are in golf, like like Glenn, and you want that hole in one, and you know it is possible, you visualize the entire um, how you're gonna hold the club, how you're gonna yes. stand, how you're gonna swing, yeah. yes. where the trajectory of the ball would go, uh, and you visualize the entire thing. Never mind the hole in one. It's that first tee, that first drive. <laughs> yeah. So everyone's watching you, right? right. Yeah. You know, so. Mm. But if yeah. you've already visualized that before you go to the golf course, mm. the you no are longer higher. have that worry. You've seen it happen. No. Still worry. No. You still yes. worry. So, Dr. That's Jerry, is performance anxiety simply put the fear of the unknown or failure? Mm, not really. It's. Sometimes it's other things like, um, you know, trying to get it right. That sense of perfectionism, I want to get it perfect. Yep. Sometimes mm. it's about uh, people's judgment. How will people see me? Sometimes it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I fear like um, I, I'm being shamed or humiliated if I do something wrong or if mm. I say something wrong or... Um, Will I be rejected? Will I be cast aside? Will people throw stones at me if you know um, I, I do my presentation? So it is very scary in terms of the other aspects. So it's not just the uncertainty. Yes, all these are uncertain, but I don't think it's them thinking, oh, I'm uncertain. It's more all the other uh, associated like fears. You know, I've, I've uh, just jotted down like three points. I think uh, it, one of it is the lack of confidence. Mm. That mm. could be yeah. a reason for performance anxiety. Mm. Two, yeah. wanting to do really well. Perfectionism. Right? Yeah. Perfectionism. Wanting to do really yeah. well. And, and three, yeah. living up to everyone's expectations. Everyone else's, including your own. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? You are listening today. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Finally, two years. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. After <laughs> two years. Wow. Well, I had six hours of sleep last that's night. Right. Oh, that's why. Right. Okay, okay. You need more sleep. Can you have more six hours of sleep? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. No, but absolutely right. You summarize the possible causes that may be contributing to the the uh, this anxiety. You know, because most of the time, the 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 performers can do it, but they don't trust themselves. They mm. think that they are not good enough. They think that they haven't prepared enough. They think that they're going to forget lines. They think that you know they are going to not uh, beat their opponent or they're going to forget the formula or, you know, a, a question that they don't expect would come up. So they don't trust their own abilities. Is it from a lack of preparation as well? Because like I, FD was saying mm. earlier, it's, you know, like uh, the visualization of how the presentation or the performance is going to go and then visualizing everything that can go wrong and being prepared of, on what to do if a mistake happens. Mm. So that is part of the preparation process, but many times all these um, young ones or the, all these performers are already very able and very capable. They have prepared adequately. Yeah, so it's not the lack of abilities. It's mm. themselves, you know, um, uh, just judging themselves before they even do anything. What do you do with someone like that? How do you, how do you get them to stop doing that? First of all, they need to 
know that they are doing it to themselves. You know, I mean, sometimes they just go, I'm just worried, I'm just worried. And they, they cannot articulate what worries them. So we break it down for them. We help them to identify. And um, it was very interesting because one of the young girls uh, that I saw yesterday, she's doing her O-levels this year. And she came to me very, very, very anxious. Um, so what we realized was her doubting herself so much, but she's an A student. She gets her A's, right? But um, when she doubts herself, she fails, <laughs> you oh, know? And no. I said, what's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? And she says, there's so much voices in my head. And I was, what, what do these voices tell you? That you cannot do it, that you're going to miss a question. Like that So all these negativities come in you see okay hold on jerry and, and we'll go on air and continue to talk about this okay stand by. one traffic okay. we can bring up this question again yeah about performance anxiety in the bedroom. Yeah. So usually it's because <laughs> like you know the guy no, no, no. has too much no, on not, his mind. Not in, the bedroom. So, not in the bedroom. Oh, oh sorry, no, sorry. Are we on, on the radio? We are, now? On yes. the sorry, radio. Yeah. we are talking about performance anxiety in the bedroom exclusively on the big show TV. Yes. So uh now right. now we're back on the radio. Now yes. we're back to the clean stuff. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. So, okay. so, so go, my go. question was <laughs> Jerry, you brought up the fact that some people just judge themselves and judge themselves uh 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 too much. How do we help yep. someone get out yep. of that vicious cycle of judging themselves? Okay, so we identify, right? We identify and we see how it manifests itself. The young girl that I was talking about, it manifests in a voice that was telling her she's not psychotic. It was just her anxiety. She hears, you know, all the judgment. So we had to quieten the voice down for her. Um, yeah, so th there are times where, uh, you know, you mentioned about sweaty palms. So having a towel with you to kind of hold mm. on to mm. can be very useful. Yep. Um, yeah. Like, uh, for myself, later on, you know, I'll be having another talk and it is quite a tough one. So I'm wearing something that I feel comfortable in. Mm. For others, it might be their favorite jacket or favorite underwear. It doesn't really matter, right? Mm. Yeah, so it could be a, a little squeeze ball that they can bring with them. Yeah. So like a little lucky charm as well, right? Because some yes. people have that yes. before they yeah. perform. Yeah. Yes, mm. yes. Mm, okay. So it can be various ways that, you know, you find comfort in. It doesn't have to be one way and one way only. Right. You know who's my lucky charm? My wife. Oh. I wish I can just uh, take her and put her in my pocket everywhere I go. Oh, you can make her a miniature. The, the, the they lucky, call that a voodoo doll. The lucky oh. charm hey. is actually... <laughs> what? You want to put her in your pocket? Uh, the, luck, the lucky charm is very interesting. Pavarotti used to carry a lucky charm on the stage with him all the time. It was a bent nail. Yes, I think, yeah. That he found on stage. When Not he, a sandwich? No. He found it on stage when he did his first performance. He was worried his first performance wouldn't work and his first performance was a massive hit. And he, he, yep. he, he yep. picked up this nail from mm -hmm. the stage and he carried mm -hmm. it through all his performances. He, ha he, he had this nail with him. Nice. This That's how he reached yes. the high yeah. notes when he <laughs> poked the nail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit worried about lucky charms sometimes because sometimes students lose these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Just before a paper, and then what do you do? You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so it is. A, we we can have one comfort item, but we also let them know that it is their ability, yeah. not just because that's bordering on superstition, <laughs> right? Lucky charms. Yes. What yes. about Jerry? What about setting up a ritual before you have to do uh, something? Then superstition no, again. No, no, no. no, no. That's yeah. not a routine. No, routine. A routine. Like a routine. Nadal has to routine. touch his crotch, touch his ear, touch his nose. Yes, yes. You know, and then so. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 So like me, I I have to have a bath. I have to iron my own clothes. I have to prep everything myself. No one can iron my shirt. Yeah. No one can yeah. touch yeah. my clothes before I perform. So difficult. Uh, yeah. It 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 yeah. it just That's helps to calm me because it helps to calm me because I feel that. I have prepared myself. Mm. Do, do routines so like that help? 
Yes, absolutely. So the process itself is very therapeutic, but the routine itself uh, sets you in that mood. It brings you into that state of mind where you, now you are ready, mm. and you're ready to face whatever it is. FD, it's not only yourself. A lot of marathon runners, a lot of um, Iron Man, you know, um, they would have their routine. Hmm. So, Dr. Jerry, mm. how does one who suffers from performance anxiety find a routine that works for them? Is there like a textbook, something to start with, and then they can sort of mold it into their own? Is there a textbook? Um, it's, it's really the, the different steps that they, they have to get themselves ready. It's no mm. hard and fast rule. But once you set it right, um, you know, you do it every single time. And we talk about routine as three or five steps that you take. Mm. Okay. How about Not a tequila two. shot? If it works for you. A tequila shot, yeah. Some people do it. Yeah. yeah, some people need a drink, liquid courage to yeah. to get up on stage or to to do a presentation. Maybe, mm. maybe, maybe. But no, um, Doctor Jerry. Do Doctor Jerry do? doesn't agree. She's like, no, we don't condone alcohol <laughs> in small amounts. It leaves you a little bit like um, floaty, right? But. You know, oftentimes what we want to do for those who are very anxious is to anchor them. So we keep the feet flat on the ground or some of the presenters, they hold the podium or they hold a pen. So it anchors them. So it helps them to stay present and not disappear into the anxiety. Mm. Oh, wow. I like grounding. That. Anchor. Wow. Yeah, it's mm. Nice. Mm. Grounding. Yeah, it's grounding, but I love to call it anchoring. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Very true. Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, let's mm. continue to talk to Jerry on the Big Show TV. In the meantime, here's Gym Class Heroes featuring Adam Levine. Stereo Hearts on one effect to uh, performance anxiety in the bedroom. Yes. Now I you can talk it. about it. Yes. <laughs> I go. think guys go through more performance oh, anxiety absolute. in the bedroom than women. Absolutely. Yeah. Because guys, right, always want to like, they, they want to perform, you know. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we can't and fake anything. Yes. I think it, that's I think that's the problem true. because men cannot fake it. Yeah. And the yeah. more you think about it, like, yeah. okay, uh, uh, I want to I wanna do... I wanna, I'm a stallion. I wanna, do I, the deed. No, no, no. I, I want to put this move on right now oh, or something, you know. <laughs> You think about it and then you're thinking like, oh, can I pull it off? Yeah. You know, you start to doubt yourself. Yourself. this you start helicopter to... move. <laughs> and then you go like, oh, oh no. The view oh, from no. the top isn't so great now. <laughs> oh, oh, landing. No. I'm like, oh, the crash landing. She took off and ended on the other side of the bed. The carabiner was breaking. He's like, oh, where, where did go go? How come from fifth gear is just <laughs> going down to second gear? <laughs> that kind of thing. Right. Dr. Jerry. <laughs> I don't know. I, he lost me at helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to visualize it, but she just couldn't. She's like, what is this? <laughs> no, but it's true, right? Men have more performance anxieties in that area than women do, right? They have higher rates of performance yeah. anxiety yeah. in bed, yeah. but uh, the women also have performance anxiety in bed. Yeah, so you you hear um, sometimes couples coming and they have very painful penetration. So the women vagina gets really really dry, or it mm. gets really painful, or they're very very tense. So that's the women. For the guys, it's more obvious. Like Angel say, you cannot fake it. Mm, <laughs> yeah. Cannot fake it. I had this um, uh, performance anxiety once. <laughs> After, uh, I mean, a really heavy night of drinking and mm. all that, right? I mean, I had no idea. It was the first time, right? I, I had experienced, you know, something something like that. But, you know, after that, right, for the next week or so, right, it just kept on playing on my mind, you know? And it affects and I, the next time and as I, well, right? Yeah, yeah, and I felt it wasn't 100%. You know yeah. what I mean? It's that like, you, you keep on thinking yeah. about it. What if it kind of happens again. again? Then you get right? insecure and, about yes, it. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. And then you start to get like yeah. nervous and, yeah. and like, mm. you know, expecting it to happen again mm. and just messes you up, right? Yeah. So it's all yeah. here, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
Eh, so are we on the radio? Again? Or Facebook, okay. Facebook, Facebook. Okay, safe, safe. Big Shot TV. <laughs> I, I have a question, Jerry. When a man has performance anxiety in bed, should he communicate it to the woman? And then should I think you don't she, have to. The woman wait, wait, can see for herself. No, <laughs> then should she help him through it? Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Turn the music up. Yes. Yeah. So, no, not turn the music up. But it, it's... Wear I less mean, clothes. It's like, you wear clothes? Wear less clothes. No, it is a communication between two parties, isn't it? It's a very intimate conversation. Mm. And it's a very intimate conversation between the bodies. So mm. if you know that that is difficult, then words need to come out. Right? Yeah. Or sounds, whatever it is, right? I mean, sounds. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds. Yeah, sounds. Yeah. If you can't use words, if you can't speak, use sounds. <laughs> Turn the music sounds. up and make more noise. <laughs> <laughs> or just bring a whip. Uh, bring a whip and some handcuffs and a, a blindfold and everything. <laughs> bring all the toys out. Your Where have you been, <laughs> Angel? <laughs> you have the right to remain <laughs> sexy. <laughs> See every oh, truth is oh, every oh, man oh. wants to be a porn star, right? But yes. you know it's not it's Absolutely, not possible. Yeah, yeah, because it's fantasy. Yeah. No, it's not, not. because you all grew up on all these these ridiculous uh, <laughs> <laughs> magazines and videos that that is <laughs> it is so yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Messed yeah. all of us up. Yeah, it is, it is. it's not what happens. It's it not what people fantasy. look yeah, like. Exactly, yeah. it's not real. It's so not if you're real. watching us and you're you know experiencing something like this right now, you know don't worry about it too much. Okay, the more you think about it. The, the, the worse it's going to yeah, exactly. get. Exactly. Okay, if you can't, you can't. Okay, Don't just tell us. Okay, Don't I can't. Tomorrow, we go again. Yeah. <laughs> go again. <laughs> try and try until you succeed. Okay, yeah. Take five, take a Gatorade and come back. <laughs> Gatorade. Uh, I tried oh, that. Try and try until you succeed. I ended up with four children. There you <laughs> go. You succeeded then. <laughs> Jackpot, that one. <laughs> really really worried right or, or very um, uh, anxious in bed adequate foreplay usually helps mm. it's not the quick in quick out sort yeah. of thing mm, mm, especially for the women I'm, I'm not sure for the men but most men enjoy it anyways so it's yeah. not just doing the deep and getting out Remember, men, what Dr. Jerry said is not the quick in and out, okay? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's all about longevity here. But how long is long? <laughs> no, but you see, again. The foreplay People leads up to that. No, we, 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 we've been with, um, you know, I mean, other people before. And I'm sure you've been in a situation where, you know, she just lies down there. <laughs> That's called the dead like, fish syndrome. Exactly. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. hello. <laughs> <laughs> then you must book a shot caller. <laughs> No, but Glenn is absolutely right. <laughs> you know you're what I mean? Poker, you live? Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Help me out here a little bit. <laughs> then you must play the wrestling bell. Ding, ding, ding. Your turn. <laughs> Tap out. I'm done. Your turn. Your turn to perform. <laughs> Switch. Change it up. <laughs> You started with performance anxiety and that's all we saw. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's right. the, the okay, back to other forms. Not yet, other forms not. of anxiety. Uh, now. And Jerry's yeah. like, can we go back on the radio so we don't have to talk <laughs> about this now? Like 20, 20 more seconds. So, we can talk about it. <laughs> Uh, let, let's 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 go back. Let's go let's go back to a different form. Uh, parents parents see that their child heading towards an exam has performance anxiety. What can the yes. parent do? Okay, so earlier I spoke <laughs> about the, the girl <laughs> that had the voice. Mm. Sometimes the parents, Angel, you're making I'm it. sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, let's go back on the video. <laughs> 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 Remember the up, question. No. Okay. People will be thinking you're talking about this girl. No, I, I wanted to get again. back to something other than the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do Dr. Jerry's still thinking about helicopter. <laughs> Get it out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> I heard Google helicopter. <laughs> I tried to save us, Jerry. <laughs> okay. To the big show and the big show TV. Earlier, you heard Prince, Purple Rain, and today is uh, his birthday. Prince's birthday. birthday. Uh -huh. I mean, if he were alive, yes. yeah, yes. we definitely lost him too soon. Right? Happy birthday, Prince. Happy birthday, Prince. All right, another dead artist right after. <laughs>
we talk about <laughs> yeah. you know performance anxiety. Oh dear. Yeah, Michael Jackson is coming up next. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 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 we're we're talking about we 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 got into something and I I wanted to pull away from it. Uh, parents who have children going for exams, um, they see that performance anxiety in their child. What can they do to help their child through this? Okay, so most of the time, the the youths tell me about, you know, they they hear all these judgy voices or all the 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 um words that people say. Most of the time, um, they are very harsh. Okay, so these words are very harsh. The last thing the parent wants to do is to add on, on on all these uh list of of comments and judgment why have you not been studying you should be studying more the child already knows so i think glenn was talking about expectations earlier so expectations of others reinforced by the parents so parents can pull away a little bit and you know affirm the child and say you know you can do it you know i what else you need how can i help you these would be very very vital questions to ask mm. yeah don't compare <laughs> them to their cousins yes mm-hmm. oh yes. yes cousin got a how can we yes. get that. an a yeah yes yes don't compare because it adds on to all those voices you see so um it it doesn't help the anxiety because the expectation just weighs down the doubt weighs down because now you go i can't be as good as so and so that's mm. not helpful at what all. what about the perfectionist i think there are many people who are tuned in right now who are you know kind of perfectionists right they yeah. want to do yeah. things their way they want to do it really really well and they expect everyone around them mm. to do the same to do the same thing mm. yeah yeah so these uh students or these performers when they want to be so perfect they actually stop themselves from being so perfect so it and because they're not enjoying it anymore they're not um permitting themselves to know themselves that they have already acquired the skill or the ability yeah so they cannot showcase that because they're so myopic and so focused on that one thing and one thing only Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. The 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 myopia. You know, we we all wear glasses, yeah. most mm-hmm. of us. But there, this is a mental myopia that they cannot see beyond. You know that one dot on the eye, yeah. and you know they 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 forget everything else. Yeah. Mm. But you know, Jerry, this morning we're talking about performance anxiety that leads to well failure in a way right yeah. um well, you're not going to get the result yourself, yeah. but what about performance anxiety that leads to a good result that's also possible no so that's the nervousness that we're talking about that's mm-hmm. the stress we're talking about that's mm-hmm. good stress mm-hmm. but when we're talking about performance anxiety it limits you so we okay. don't want the anxiety. we want the worry we want that stress level so it's good if you are um uh sweaty palms and you're on high alert that's good but if you are so anxious to the point that you cannot do anything yeah then that's no good Remember, just imagine if you're taking part in a pull-up competition and you're having performance anxiety and you've got sweaty palms oh. oops oh wow that's all it. at once huh? you're not going to stay on that bar very long <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, let's continue to talk to Jerry on The Big Show TV. Coming up very soon also is uh, the editor of SG Karmat, uh, Julian Is Cole. it back to the bedroom now? Uh, yes. Okay, all right. No. Yes. Yes. On Facebook. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Michael Jackson, black or white, on 1FM. Over to Julian. Hey, you see every time that song comes on. <laughs> <laughs> but do people come to you with, um, you know, this problem? Performance anxiety in the bedroom. <laughs> And uh, what what do you usually recommend? Uh, um, uh, mostly it'll be men, right? I'm guessing. Oh, couples. Not, not, not couples. Do they come yeah, to do you they together come as, as a couple? No, they don't come to me when they have issues in the bedroom. Oh, oh they no? don't? Oh, they're, not, not? they're not that kind of therapist? No. It's a, it's a, no, that's a sexologist. So you need sexologist. someone else. Yeah. yeah so we like, should have a sexologist on the show. Dr. Jerry got oh, yeah, friends no. to recommend. <laughs> He's like, no. 
<laughs> uh, okay, fine. The show, but, they'll, they'll cancel yeah, the show. The byproduct of you know some of sometimes they have issues in their uh, um, uh, their couplehood or they have issues in the communication and that spills over to you know issues in the bedroom. So I will help them with that, but they don't specifically come to me because they have issues in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> that's no. not like so there's a sexologist there are sexologists <laughs> that, yeah. that's the first time I've heard that term so, I've heard of sex therapists but I didn't know they were called yeah, sexologists there, there so, so yeah. a person yeah. that has these problems doesn't go to a psychologist uh, they sometimes do but uh, more commonly they go to somebody that is specialised in sex therapy yeah. like a masseuse mm. like a masseuse Sean what? Uh, oh, Sean Sean, Sean. Oh. Sean. Oh. Okay. Not everybody will think twice about going to a masseuse. You should. Yeah. I think a sexologist is a great idea. No? Right? Yeah. For the show, right? No. no I mean, for the show <laughs> and, us, and, and even on a you know on a on a personal level yeah. as well because. Talk about something so sexual before I give my tips. Now my tips are <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I, sorry. I forgot. It's I thought you gave your tips. Sorry. Okay, go on. Go now, on. now her tips are going to be all related yeah. to sex. Okay. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Dr. Jerry. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so there's there are two things that you know performers can do. Now I, I really. <laughs> She's like, maybe, maybe read us something from Winnie the Pooh or something. Hey, you don't wear pants or so, no? You got a helicopter sound effect. <laughs> Airwolf. One is quieten the voice, okay? So the noise in our head. Um, the second one, that's why it sounds so weird now. Squeeze and release it out. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, I can see where that one went wrong. Yeah. So what, what quiet, quiet voice, squeeze quieten, and release. Quieten the voice. Quieten, quieten, quieten the voice. voice. Quieten the voice. Mm -hmm. squeeze, squeeze and release. It was supposed to be like a relaxation thing. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's like it's like it's, yep. like it's like a stress ball. Okay. Like using a stress ball. <laughs> It's like, yes, yes, yes. Don't but, don't say anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, go on, go on, go on. Yeah. So the other one is comfort, a comfort item, a comfort, you know, uh, clothing, a comfort drink. Yeah, that you can prepare beforehand. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm, so that's mm. three. All right. Okay. Mm. It's okay. not too bad. It's yeah, not yeah, too bad. It's, it's all right. It's okay. No, those are good. It's yeah. good. Those are good, Jerry. Those are good. <laughs> like Jerry. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> safe, safe, safe. Nice. She's like, good she job. got away with it. Okay. Good, good job, everyone. Good job. No performance anxiety here in the studio, <laughs> that's for sure. No, no. But it's all I'm good. End off with a little coat. And for the. So today they have uh, Get the Beat. So a lot of uh, competitions and. Uh, are happening during the school holidays. So this is for all the ballerinas and the dancers for, for today and for this period of time. So this is a quote from Misty Copeland. She's a, a very ballerina. famous black, black ballerina. And she says, decide what you want, declare it to the world, see yourself winning, and remember that if you're persistent, as well as patient, you can get whatever you seek. Mm. Nice. Love Misty Copeland. Very Thank nice. you, Dr. Jerry. No worries. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, well, have a wonderful day, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. <laughs> I, will, I will helicopter film. Yeah, go, 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 go. You brought that one out, so you brought that one out. Bye. She's like, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>